Hey guys, welcome to the channel, the Zen Treehouse Vlog. Uh, today we're gonna um, go to our in, uh, interior designers and we're gonna have a little discussion uh, around uh, the finishes and the uh, furniture that we need to uh, order. You know, a lot of uh, supply chain is backed up and furniture could take maybe uh, 12 weeks or more. So we're gonna get that squared away so that we have it and ready to roll once the treehouse is ready to be furnished. So that's the first thing. And then the other thing that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get up to Bailey to talk to the our contractor, Carrie Dunn, uh, with Backcountry Builders. And they've got the floor deck on and they are working on the back decks uh, to get those done before they put the walls on because they're gonna need the crane and they're gonna kind of box themselves in if they don't do that. So anyway, we're gonna just do a quick construction status update uh, up there as well. Uh, the very top part is all capped in ice and water. Yep. And then the floor joists will sit on top of that and the floor joists are gonna be stained. Okay. And then the ice and water goes on the very top of the joist itself also. So no water sitting on top coming down can penetrate Got it. the very top of the joist. It's the first time standing on the deck. See the whole vista. Main decking. All right. Well, this is great progress. These are wall studs. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so these are LVLs. Oh, look at that. And so it's a laminated piece of wood that goes together. Yeah. And so when we get into your upper walls, they're going to be like 14 foot six. Yeah. And a two by six will definitely want to like crown and won't stay straight in that long of a distance. Got it. This will stay perfectly straight and it's a little bit stronger. Um, so anything longer than like 12 foot, yeah. I like to go to like an LVL. Yeah. Awesome. So the plan for the walls then, first thing is the decks, right? You're going to get the yep. joists on the decks? Yes, because if once we have this wall frame, yep. we're not going to be able to get to, to that. Right. So we're going to have the decks all framed with plywood on them. Okay. And then the trucks will go on later. Yes. And, and then at the very end, because I don't want that to get messed up. Right. And then the... What's the sequence for the walls once these are all done? Yep. What's the is back walls first? Yeah, well, yeah, most likely. Yeah. These front walls here first. Okay, the tall ones. But I try to leave everything laying down as long as I can because of the wind. Right. So we already have that front wall over there built. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, good, how are you? Good. Oh, this wall, yeah. Yeah, so this one is built and ready to go up, but we're leaving everything down right now. Yeah. Till the end, till we, cause I don't, the wind. Gotcha. See how far past the plywood? See how it's real flimsy? Oh yeah, so and that's, that's gonna, go. gonna go down and catch. So it's almost like two, a little bit more than two feet that we're going down. And tying into the foundation. Tying into the whole rim out there to tie everything down. And these ones are? These the, are your deck boards. The deck, um, Deck choice, choice. choice, yeah, okay. Yeah. For this section right here. Oh, for this, yeah, this is the yeah. master master deck. Right. And so you can see we got the ledger on here with all the hangers going across. So we're gonna stain everything and then drop them into place. Next week, by probably like Thursday, I think, yeah. we'll, we'll have all the decks done. Oh, okay. And then we'll be starting on the walls. Okay. It's fun to kind of finally stand on the floor and look out. Man, yeah. this is something, huh? It's something, alright. <laughs> so that dark tile is your is your kitchen. This and, one? Yeah. And goes into the master. It goes into the master bath. Okay. Got it. And it's the same tile on the master bath wall. Right. So the shower stall and so forth. Which will be really beautiful. It's big. It's big format tile, and it has the white lines through it. It's it's called Black Carrera, mm -hmm. so it has a has a lot of movement to it. What's also nice, it's a porcelain, so you can drop stuff on it. You don't have to worry about certain things. But what's interesting is this tile in person undulates. You would swear it was real stone, and it's honed so that it 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 doesn't have a shine to it. So in the kitchen. Dropping grease, doing stuff, you're not going to have any problem. Also, that the fact that it's a through body porcelain, if anybody drops something and chips it, you're not going to see the chip. 
It comes, it comes in a two by two. So this is gonna be on the shower floor? On the shower floor and the shower this walls. This size? This size, correct. Okay, oh. got it. This it's just size. larger oh, format. And larger format on the, on the, so kind of what I've sketched here, it's yeah. larger format on the walls and on the floor, which is a, it's, I believe it's a, a 12, 16 by 30 or two or 12 by, so it's a 16 by 32. 16 by 32. 16 by 32, 32. that is big. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. This is the kitchen cabinet. Okay. The, the doors and the, mm -hmm. the cabinets the themselves. Whole face. This is laminate, it's dimensional laminate. Okay. So again, cleaning. It has a texture to it. Yeah, so the fingerprinting and so forth. That's your countertop. countertop and backsplash? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. That's the salt yep. so that that goes on the, the face of the fireplace. Okay. Now the one to the right of that is yeah. the living room fireplace, and that's that kind of this, this, oh, yeah. <coughs> this is this whole wall. So with the fireplace against the thing, so it does feel a little metally, but it's porcelain. And then the <coughs> white countertop on top. So yep. that's the same for the guest and the master. So this is the bathroom. Bathroom right. tops. Vanity so, tops. So this, is, this, is this master? That's the guest. That's guest uh, yeah. cabinet. Cabinets, okay. And then guest tile. This is the guest tile, which is staying lighter. Okay. And that's the floor, the walls, everything in there. Okay. And this is also a large format. It is a, a 16 by 32 again. Okay. So you're not having hefty grout lines and it's going to feel more contemporary. Okay. And then this guy? That's the, the wood the ceiling beams. and the beams. This is cladding around the beams and the ceiling. Yep. Okay. So that's the color that we're asking for, yep. for him to do or match closely to. It's a little deeper than the floor, but we think it'll be... Yeah, handsome. Is this, um, and that will also go on the outside. The beams that are going outside continue will, yeah, will, yeah. will stain it in that color. Or we can, we can, the glue line, we can stain the glue line beams. Okay. You know, we can, we can do that. So I think that's a cost situation. It'd be great if we could frame it, but we can make the glue lamps work. Oh, okay. So kind of industrial. Yeah, yeah, the industrial. So we'll stain the glue lamps. So what he's thinking about is doing pre stain, you know. So that it's stained before it goes up. That's probably okay. smart. Yes. So all the siding will be pre-stained. So this one, when it's going to come to the, that, which that is going to be in the next month or so, okay. I don't know, when he's putting those beams up. But the walls are going to go up here relatively soon, and then the okay. beams come next. So. I mean, then they can... Are these area rugs? These are area rug options, yep. Okay. Um, and they are carpet goods that we would just surge and bind so that- Because they're wall-to-wall they're wall goods. They're wall-to-wall yeah. wall wall goods, but this is wool. So that the cleanability and all that stuff. But um, we well, figured the texture, the texture. I mean, it's always visually chilly up there. And especially seeing that site now, you are. Yeah. <laughs> you're out there. So to have a little- A little, um, a little warm wool. Well, we have a rug, um, so we have a dining room and a little room. Rooms there. And then one in the master, and, and one, one in the guest. guest. So there's four different ones. Yes. So, so the thing that comes down to it is, I think it's looking at the furniture and fabrics. So we started neutral with the thing so that that gave it the most maximum flat with yep. with uh, fabrics and throw pillows and all that kind of stuff. I think it's not the place is huge, but to keep it calmer. Yeah. But it's textural. Textural. I mean, this. I mean, this one could have pattern. You know that or, or not? I mean, so it's, it's it's playing with what you want to do, mm -hmm. um, but we, this is where we're starting from, so that we have the most flexibility. This also would probably hide water spots, uh, yeah, red wine, all that kind of stuff. This kind of why we're in kind of this tote here. It's almost like sweaters, you mm -hmm. know, kind of thing. Um, you know, things are progressing pretty well, um, and. You know, I think we're going to shoot for it sometime in June being the completion date. So, you know, maybe uh, uh, six more months or so. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and click the bell to re be reminded whenever I uh, post another uh, episode of the vlog. And uh, share with your friends, uh, anybody that's interested in uh, luxury uh homes, uh, unique homes, um, the treehouse experience, you're going to see uh, what it's really like to be that high up and to be in the, in the canopy of the trees is pretty cool.